no. Gosh, damn. What now? No, it's just that there's all these numbers. What, can't you count? No, I can count. Here, let me make it easy for you. Chubzilla, listen up, okay? This little piggy went to the market, all right? right? This little piggy stayed home. Now, this little piggy doesn't roll the goddamn camera. I'm gonna put my foot up his butt. Well, I'll get him. Gail Hailstorm standing out front of the police station where I'm going to try and get a glimpse of Cindy Campbell, the young girl who was attacked earlier this evening. You're on my foot, fat shit! Sir, what did I say? Oh, don't, 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 don't ever step say? on Gail's shoes. Why not? Because Gail's wear Prada shoes. You idiot. Oh, I'm a bad guy. Welcome to the stage of history retold. <sighs> Done with another grueling day of school. Now all I want to do is go home and relax. <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, Koichi, it's you. Hey there, Hazamata. Oh, yeah, hi, what's new? I'm sorry about all the trouble I gave you the other day. So, uh, have you completely recovered from your injuries? <laughs> sort of, I guess. The doc sent me home two days ago. Uh, uh, where's that bastard? I mean, where's Josuke? He probably already went home. You won't believe it, but he found an invisible baby yesterday, and now they're bending over backwards to find its mother. So the baby is a stand user? It looks that way. Apparently, the baby has formed a bond with Josuke's dad, Mr. Joestar. In fact, if Mr. Joestar isn't nearby at all times, she turns everything around her invisible. Hmm. Does this mean this Mr. Joestar is gonna stick around Wario for a while? Probably. I see. Hey, Koichi, do you happen to like manga? Manga? Yeah, guess I like him as much as the next guy. Have you ever heard of Rohan Kishibe? He draws Pink Dark Boy. What kind of question is that? I'm one of the biggest Pink Dark Boy fans in Japan. No way. You really like it. You're talking about the Suspense Horror series, aren't you? I never get it mixed up with anything else. It can get pretty gross sometimes, but it's worth it for the horror aesthetic and complex characters. I completely agree. By the way, here's a little secret. Rohan Kishibe actually lives right here in Morio. What? Did I hear you right? He lives here in Morio? That's almost too good to be true, are you sure? I know, I couldn't believe it either! I heard some realtors talking about it while I was at the comic store! It's mind-boggling news, but it's absolutely true! Yeah! I just had a great idea! Let's get some autographs! You know it! Just lead the way! Other, huh? You think so? Hey, look up there! I think that might be a studio. The light's on! Yeah, you're right. Hey, I wonder if Rohan has any family. From what I hear, he lives alone. He made his debut four years ago, back when he was 16. Say what? He's only 20 years old? That means he was about my age when he went pro. Snooping around out here won't do us any good, Koichi. You're gonna have to ring the doorbell. Huh? But why do I have to do it? Isn't it obvious? I have seniority over you. <laughs> hey, I recognize him! 
is Rohan Kishibe! He looks just like his picture on the cover of that special New Year's edition! Oh, I mean, Mr. Rohan! <sighs> and who, pray tell, are you? Why are you here? Some kind of prank? No! We never do that! Honest! We're students from Burugaoka High School! Yeah! We're fans of yours, Sensei! Fans? Of me? Really? My address must have gotten leaked. That's not it at all! I just happened to hear it in passing! I hope it's not too much trouble, Mr. Rohan. But can we have a couple of autographs? It'd really make our day! So you're fans, eh? Tremendous. We might just be on the same wavelength. Uh, nothing, I don't mind me. Please come in. It'd be a pleasure to sign autographs for two of my biggest fans. <laughs> oh, aren't you glad we came? I know. How would you like a little studio tour while you're here? <gasps> you really want to see where the magic happens? I've already finished today's work, but if you're still interested, then... We are! Come in. <laughs> Part of the intrusion! Whoa! Those are four color originals! Oh, stunning! It's even more powerful in person! This is the most magical day ever! I'm so glad we're here! So I have to know, Sensei, how long have you been working at Amorio? I've been living here for about three months. My family lives in S-City, but when I was a child, we actually called Mario our home. Tokyo has its perks, but it's too chaotic. It has none of Mario's serenity and isn't at all conducive to creativity. And besides, today's fax machines and photocopiers are more advanced than they've ever been. I could send a complete manuscript in four hours. No point living in the city now, unless you care about status and all that drivel. So, uh, what about your assistants and staff? How do they factor in? They don't. I work alone. An assistant would only be an unnecessary hindrance. Wow, that's so amazing! You're a total genius! Please, excuse me. Oh, it's a spider! Suburbia never ceases to amaze with its bugs and spiders. Uh, Mr. Rohan? I see. Hello, Arrhenius Ventricosis. It inhabits homes and rural areas across Japan. It's an orb-weaving spider. And the number of them weave webs day and night. Huh. By the way, you two, do you know what it takes to create captivating stories from manga? <laughs> Reality. Reality is the driving force that makes a drawing come totally alive. It's entertainment on the highest possible level. People assume manga is born of imagination and fantasy, but they couldn't be more wrong. A great manga is one that captures things experienced, seen, and felt by flesh and blood beings. Take this exquisite spider, for example. Something a typical city dweller would kill in disgust. The way the legs connect to the body and the positions of its many eyes. Even subtle differences between the male and female. A manga artist must understand each of these elements to draw a spider. It's said a spider's silk solidifies when exposed to air. No such things. <gasps> That's barbaric! Silence! How dare an amateur like you give Rohan Kishibe his opinion! <laughs> An excellent expression of agony. Your vomiting reflex is so raw, I simply must sketch it. Really? <laughs> and now you're just pretending. Well, let's forget about the sketch. It won't be of any use. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted autographs. I'll see if I can find a pen in the kitchen. I'll bring some tea out as well. You don't have to do that. are forged below the never-ending skies. I am beautiful. You look like a real pain in the ass. Battle one. Fight! <laughs> Battle 2. Fight! 
I'm so amazing. His need to know every single detail is on another level. Um, Hasumata? Uh, I know we just got here and all, but... Well, uh, don't you think it's about time for us to get going? Say what? You want to go home now? But why? Aren't you having fun? I can't really say why I'm so nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> I just have a bad feeling about this. My gut has been known to be wrong on rare occasions, but... Right now it's telling me that there's something really dangerous about Rohan. Dangerous? What do you mean by that? You think he's a stand user? No, no, it's nothing like that! It's just a weird feeling. Rohan is what those hippie artist types would call avant-garde. But that doesn't mean you should immediately jump to conclusions about him being a stand user. I already told you I don't think he is one. I just have a bad feeling is all. Okay, okay. Let's say Mr. Rohan actually is a stand user. That'd be amazing for us, don't you think? How awesome would it be to have something in common with a famous manga artist? But I feel you. So let's leave. If something about him's giving you the willies, then let's go. Come on. We can always come back. But one catch! This thing caught my eye, so I have to check it out first. A thing? Where? What are you talking about? Jeez, Koichi, you're so dense! There! It's on top of the desk next to the phone! My eye on it since we came in here, and it's the real deal! I never dreamed this would happen! A freshly drawn manuscript for Pink Dark Boy! Hang on, does this mean no one else has seen it yet? We'll go home right after I get a glimpse of this. We have to get Rohan's permission first! You really don't know anything about manga artists, do you, Koichi? All of these pre-printed manuscripts are highly confidential in every sense of the word! There's no way he'd let a couple of outsiders like us look at a manuscript before the editors even had a chance to give notes! It's common sense! We'll take a peek, then put it right back! This is a horrible idea! Lighten up! We're not hurting anyone by reading it! First time readers of my new manuscript. Oh, uh, Azamata, I... What's the matter? You will now experience my glorious ability, Heaven's Door. It's a gateway to your very souls. Uh, what do you mean? What is going on? Why does my head feel weird? A single thing from the moment you were born. To peruse your records, I shall transform you both into books. Magnificent books that chronicle your life stories. Not me! Somebody help! I believe you read my manga as well. What's happening to me? My ability won't physically harm you, so there's no need to worry. What the hell do you even want from us anyway? In manga, the creator's sense of reality is critical, remember? We went over that. So now, I will read all about your lives and experiences thus far. And these pages will fill my consciousness with realistic ideas. More effective than an interview. You will tell me everything you've lived through with 100% accuracy. As if I had been there to experience it myself. Koichi Hirose. Born March 28, 1984 at 6.27 a.m. You were delivered at Red Cross Hospital in this city. A premium 2,325 grams, you spent a week in an incubator. A family of four and an older sister named Ayana. Yes, I see. In grade school and middle school, you led a relatively ordinary life. You also happened to be a remarkably genuine soul. An admirable quality. <laughs> What is this? So then you're hiding a secret ability, are you? Reverb, huh? And it seems that there are other individuals in the world with these fantastical abilities. You have powers too? Stand users, huh? Astounding. Everything in here dated after April 1999 is just extraordinary. An explosion of wondrous experiences. Josuke Higashikita, Jotaro Kujo, Yuka Koyamagishi, Okayasu Nijimura, Tamami Kobayashi. Oh, it's unbelievable, incredible, and utterly captivating.
Star Platinum. The Hand. Love Deluxe. Etc. Etc. What are you talking about? What the heck are you planning to do to us now? You mean it isn't obvious yet? I'm going to use your memories to write my manga. Reaver! Devoted to that written on page 11. You've always been far more timid than most others, and many tend to blatantly disrespect you. But when push comes to shove, you find the courage to conquer your fears. Remarkable. I like you already. And as for my readers, they'll feel the same once they get to know you. I'm not bluffing, you hear me? I'll attack if I have to! You really don't know when to shut up, do you? Try it if you dare! Reaver, act two, go! Unfortunately for you, Koichi, I took the liberty of placing a little safety lock on Reaver. <laughs> you can attack me to your heart's content, but you're no longer able to land the blow. Safety lock? <laughs> Take a look. It's in the margin on page 11. I added that new rule as a little bit of a safety measure just in case you used your stand. <laughs> Awesome power of Heaven's Door. Through it, I can use words and pictures to read people's experiences or create brand new memories. It doesn't matter what sort of tricks you have up your sleeve. You'll never be able to do me harm as long as I have this power. Shit! What do I do now? <laughs> Chin up, Koichi. That's all the tampering I intend to do. If I meddled with your pages any further, your precious life would lose all authenticity and you'd no longer be of any benefit to my work. All right, now let's have a look at your pages, Hazama. You're a genius in every sense of the word, sir! I respect you so much! <laughs> I suppose we'll see about that. Now then. Mortalize it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm. Interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the detail. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for... And I thank you for saving my life. You're a disgusting troll. Including someone like you in my manga would drive readers away. <laughs> You're useless. <laughs> what am I gonna do now? Oh, Why? Why are you doing this? You don't need any of my experiences to create stories. You're a spectacular manga artist all on your own. Every reader in the world knows that. Also, you're only 20 years old and live in this amazing house! Think of how blessed you are compared with most people your age! So why do you need my memories when you're already great? How stupid can you be? Do you think that I, Rohan Kashibe, draw manga to gather money and admiration? <laughs> I draw manga so that people around the world will read it. My only objective is for people to read my work. I know it's a single simple reason. Even so, it's all I care about. People want honesty when they read my work, so I search for inspirational realism every day. And truth be told, I absolutely love the feeling of finishing a manuscript. Everyone feels good after finishing a project they've worked hard on, but that gratification is fleeting and immaterial. After the initial rush of euphoria is gone, I begin to think no one will read the manga I slaved over, and my deep-seated insecurities begin to flare up. What if all my readers are gone by next week? What if I don't know what to draw for the next issue? What if I lose the ability to draw? What if my motivation disappears? Be 
these are the recurring thoughts that have tormented me over and over since I was a 16-year-old novice. Until three months ago, when a mysterious stranger shot me to the core with an arrow, and I gained the ability of Heaven's Door. That was Kiyo Nichimura. Yes, I saw his name written on your pages. You two have no idea what it's like to find the perfect inspiration for your ultimate masterpiece! But I found it at last! There's nothing better! Koichi, I'm taking your reality and using it as a muse for my new stories! <laughs> See, Koichi, I told you Mr. Rohan was a super nice guy. Aren't you glad we decided to pay him a visit? Definitely, I had a ton of fun. Not only did he give us these great autographs, he was even kind enough to serve us tea and cookies. Mm -hmm. I want to go back as soon as we can. Me too. Today kicked ass. Well, I'm headed this way. See you later. I'm still surprised he was such a great guy. Did I lose 20 kilograms? You'll never speak of what happened. Right, Koichi? What the? How the heck did I lose 20 kilograms? That's so weird. I look exactly the same. Yep, it reads 5 kilograms so the scale's not broken. This doesn't make any sense! Wait, this must be the work of an enemy stand user! There's no other way I could possibly lose 20 kilograms this fast! But who's the user? I have to talk to Josuke about this! Huh? Hey, Ko, what are you doing over there? Huh? Me? Uh, well, I... Uh, what was it? What the hell are you talking about, you weirdo? Hey, what's wrong? Oh, it's just my brother. For some reason, he's wandering around the house in his goofy box. What was it? I could have sworn I was thinking about something really important a second ago. Well, if I managed to forget so easily, it couldn't have been that important. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Soul of Amy. Soul of Yoshimitsu. Let's cut loose. fan the flames of the warrior's fighting spirits. Oh, man. Why do my shoes and bag feel heavier than usual today? Hold on. This house! How strange. Somehow I ended up walking all the way back to Rohan's house. The door's open. 
I'd like to drop in and thank him for being such a great host yesterday. I'll be late for school. I probably shouldn't. Being an artist, he's probably still asleep. It'd be rude to just barge in. I really shouldn't. You saw that, right, Okuyasu? Yeah. Spying feels wrong, but it's out of character for Koichi to act so weird and ditch school. What the hell is he doing? Well, I want to know who in the world lives here. I mean, there's no way he's meeting up with some chick, right? Expression. And for some reason, I can't shake the feeling that being in this house is actually terrifying. But why? You finally made it. It's good to see you. Right on time for our session. Yesterday, he just finished drawing the manuscript for this week. Open the door! 
They can rush in and get me out of this place! Uh. Oh, hey! This is such a surprise! What are you two doing here? And for that matter, how do you even find me? Uh. I'll let it be. Josuke and Okuyasu don't really interest me at the moment. For now, I'll finish up the last two pages for next week, and then I'll procure even more material from Koichi. <laughs> I can hardly contain myself. Uh, you came here to watch a manga artist do his work? How can this guy afford to work in such a nice place? Rohan Kishibe. Is he famous or something? Ever heard of him, Josuke? I'm not that well-versed in manga. In fact, Hazamata bitched at me for not knowing anything about Perman. Wait, what? That wasn't even remotely close to what I wanted to say to them. Why am I blanking all of a sudden? Well, we saw you staggering around, so we thought it would be a good idea to tell you. But it seems like everything is A-OK. -okay. I guess we'll leave you to it. Thanks a lot. Do you want to come inside and observe with me? Nah, thanks for the offer, though. Being around famous people makes me nervous. Same. Just knowing that you weren't in there fooling around with some smoking hot chick is enough for me, so I'm out. I wanted to say! I needed them to rescue me! Yosuke Fukuyasu way! See you guys at school in a bit! Okay. Make sure you're not late!
impossible! I don't think we have nearly enough power to beat Heaven's Door! Ah, I see now. At <laughs> the rate he's going, he's gonna rip out all my experiences and leave me a lifeless husk! I sense an infiltrator has entered the mansion. What did you do while you were downstairs? Answer me! <gasps> ah! Ah! <laughs> Uncle Yasu! <laughs> Hold it right there. Just keep looking straight ahead, buddy. You better not try anything funny, or I'll crush you with my stand, you doodling dipshit! I don't know how you figured out I was in danger, Uncle Yasu, but thank goodness you're here! You're the best! It appears as though your friend had a sudden epiphany, Koichi. I didn't notice it before, but that small cut on your hand must have given away the predicament you're currently in. <laughs> you probably scratched yourself on something while you were crawling. I was so focused on escaping, I didn't notice! That is what gave it away, right, Okoyasu? And your stand is the hand. Also, you have a bit of a complex regarding your dead brother, Keicho. And whenever you try to make a difficult decision, you wish your brother was there to do it for you. Isn't that right? <clears throat> Who the hell told you all that? Speak up, punk! Hey, Koichi, tell me everything about this guy's stand. Yeah, he's able to! I can't do it! I can't say anything that put Rohan at a disadvantage! If you catch a glimpse of even one panel, it's all over! I desperately want to tell you not to look! Situation we now find ourselves in. 
What course of action will our protagonist employ? Let's see. Perhaps Josuke could flee with knowledge of my stand's power, which would be quite the dilemma for me. You know, running away might be the best thing he could do! He could go and get Jotaro! And if he told Yukiko what happened to you, I'm sure she'd be angry enough to help us out! Uh, I'd rather not see her again, but we could use her hair! Josuke! Get out of here and tell them what's going on! You imbeciles! I explained all of that to you exactly so it wouldn't happen! And I doubt you'd be so quick to prompt Josuke if you knew what was written in you! Koichi, I'm giving you my express permission to explain the content of my missive. Let's hear it. <laughs> There's no way! You can't be serious! Hey, out with it! What did he write, Koichi? How can he do that? It's sick! He's completely trapped us in this mansion! It doesn't matter what we do, we're never getting out of here! That's why I'm asking what the hell this sickle run on my arm, Koichi! <laughs> Myself to death. That's why I said we're never getting out of here. You'll kill yourself if Joe's King so much as lifts a finger to help us. Hey, wait a second. He thinks I'll burn myself to death? <laughs> That's total crazy talk. As if I'd ever do something as messed up as setting myself on. I'm out. Like he really had a choice. You will. We're completely incapable of defying him. Come on, right hand. Knock it off. This is so wrong. <laughs> So you've come out. Like he really had a choice! He was basically dragged out of here because he couldn't bear to hear us suffer! like two decades ago? Or maybe you would think that hair looks cool, don't you? How's that? <laughs> I guess remarks like those really do set him off. I must admit it's hard to believe, but the files are always accurate. 
What a preposterous Achilles heel. What the hell? Did you say? Huh? Just take it easy, Josuke! I dare you to insult my hair again! If you insist. Fine. Here goes. You might think your hair looks cool, but in actuality it may be the shittiest hairstyle I've ever had the misfortune of laying eyes upon! <laughs> Though to be fair, that nest atop your useless noggin may come in handy should a pigeon come by and decide to roost. But that's a very strong thing. <laughs> best I can, but I might have to fill in some gaps along the way. Josuke was four years old, and he passed out from an inexplicably high fever. For 50 days, no one knew whether he would live or die. Josuke. He found out later on that all of this happened right around the time Jotaro and Mr. Joestar were in Egypt. They traveled there in order to defeat a heinous stand user named Dio. Josuke's mom had no idea what was happening, so she loaded him in the car and headed to a hospital in S-City as fast as she could. But at the time, Morio was in the middle of its worst blizzard in 18 years. No use. What do I do? Nobody ever uses this back road anymore, and there's not a damn payphone in sight. I'm an idiot. I should have called for an ambulance. Why did I bring Josuke out in the snow? What's wrong with me? Battle one. Fight! Your fate is sealed! Accept your fate! 
that's when it happened. <sighs> hey, what the hell do you want? Just go away, you creeper! Eventually, his mom tried to search for the young man, but she couldn't find any trace of him. While the stranger may not have personally saved his life that night, as far as four-year-old Josuke was concerned, that young man he encountered was a hero unlike anyone he'd ever seen before. He became Josuke's role model and a shining example of what it means to be a good person. When someone insults that part of him, it triggers something deep inside his heart. I still don't know who he is or where he's from. But in honor of him coming to our rescue, I decided to adopt his hairstyle. No one is allowed to disrespect it, no matter who they are. Disrespecting my hair means disrespecting him. As far as I'm aware, that's the reason he flies off the handle. But I have to admit, I thought Josuke was just making it up, so I wasn't listening very carefully. Huh. I've never heard that story. <laughs> ah! Careful! Rohan's holding a man! You bastard! Don't know when to call it quits, oh, do that's ya? That's not it. I wanted to make sure I wrote down that beautiful story before I lost consciousness. Oh. Oh, what a tale. Bravo. Yes, I had an amazing experience to boot. I'm overjoyed. Experiences like this happen once in a lifetime. Such great inspiration. <laughs> How lucky am I? I'm so glad I packed my bags and moved to Morio. It's no use. As long as he's alive, he'll keep searching for manga material, even if he ends up battered and bruised. At this point, you have to commend his determination. Putting aside good and bad for a minute, he has one of the most admirable work ethics I've ever seen. Rohan Sensei is truly a super manga artist. I finally found you, manga artist. Last I checked, I wasn't done punching you. His determination is pretty commendable, too. Oh, yeah. Due to an unforeseen illness, Rohan Kishibe's Pink Dark Boy will be on hiatus for one month.